What's up, best friends? It's Brian Deach, and today we're gonna to talk about generative AI and why, well, it is the talk of the town. I can be talking about healthcare, financials, government. Everybody wants to do it, but everyone's terrified of it. And I, I say that a lot of customers are like, they, they, they're, they're looking at generative AI like the McRib sandwich. Like they know better, and they're gonna try it out again, but every time they do it, their heart hurts, their stomach is upset. Will they ever learn? Now, unlike the McRib, Generative AI is here to stay. So before we get into like how I can help with generative AI, what is it actually not? So when we talk about generative AI, it's definitely not the matrix or uh, you know Skynet, at least not yet, right? It's more it's not a sentient being that's sitting there listening and thinking and all that good stuff. More is this a, it's a feedback engine. You're gonna ask it a question, it's gonna give you something back in response. Now it's it's trained on large sets of data and the ability to create text, images, audio, and video are kind of unparalleled. So now when we look at that, how can Zscaler help you embrace generative AI without introducing any risk? So it's gonna kind of boil down to this. So first and foremost, we got like three pillars that we're gonna be looking at right here. So the first one's gonna be around discover. So when you think of generative AI, you're probably thinking of, hey, there's that chat GPT thing. We've all heard of that. It's probably the most popular. But did you know there's other ones out there? Like lots, like Veed, like Jasper, and like Dally. I think it's E2 nowadays. So our ability to sit here in between your users and discover these generative AI based applications and present them to you is kind of unparalleled. Now, with that said, it's one thing to discover, but now we have to figure out how do we secure that? So we're gonna come over here and go into our secure bucket. And so from a secure perspective, like this is that, that URL filtering thing that you're all familiar with, right? That's gonna be the whole like, we're gonna inspect and do that SSL and TLS story there. But really the, the biggest concern for organizations is like, I don't want to take my sensitive information and then throw it up into one of these applications, these generative AI applications, and then allow that to like learn my stuff and then share it outside of my organization. So the ability to do inline DLP is unparalleled as well. And then we have uh, cloud app control. So this will give you the ability to maybe monitor uploads and downloads. And then last but not least, we have cloud browser isolation. I'm just gonna abbreviate that. And so when we look at this, we say, okay, well, we've discovered these applications and maybe ChatGPT is the application of choice for your organization. Boom, you allow that to happen. But guess what? You're still gonna do your inline DLP. There's still not a possibility of taking something sensitive and uploading it there. Perhaps you come through here and be like, dude, Veed, never heard of it. No business case whatsoever. Get rid of it. Same thing with Jasper. And then maybe Dally, you're like, you know what? Maybe there's this weird corner case where you guys want to leverage it. But instead of just opening it all willy nilly, maybe you want to put it into like browser isolation so they can still get there, but you're isolating it. And the nice thing about that is they can interact with the application, but they can't take something from there and then bring it down to their, sense, uh, to their sanctioned device. And the last part around this is gonna be investigation. And this is really the part that kind of ties it all in together. We'll just say investigate right here. And really the, the idea between investigating is that we wanna do like kind of like this thing called workflow automation. and then coaching both from a user and an admin standpoint. And so workflow automation is, is taking all this information, all these applications that we discovered, all of your DLP policies, and then, and then enforcing it across these generative based uh, AI applications that are out there. And then from a user standpoint, right, maybe they're taking something that's out there that shouldn't go there. You can block them, but then use it as a coaching opportunity. Be like, hey, listen, we don't take, you know, sensitive source code and throw it up 
uh, into chat GPT or something like that. And then from an administrative perspective, right, we can use this as a tool to help, you know, with the, uh, the DLP administrator. Uh, we can use that as figuring out what applications to enable for the business, which ones to revoke. And this is all done through the world's largest security cloud. So we call it the Zero Trust Exchange, Zscaler, at the end of the day. This is our big bad cloud. Zero Trust Exchange, ZTE for short. And what you should take away from this is our ability to discover the application, secure it, and investigate and create coaching opportunities enables your business to do what? To embrace generative AI and to reduce the risk associated when doing that. And with that said, that's my time. Do me a huge favor, like comment on this video, like the video, share, subscribe. I don't even know. Whatever you do, I'm eternally grateful. My name is Brian Deach and I'm out of here. Thank y'all.